interrupted with the, you know, we're ready to have enough. What is it about this team, you know, no Jimmy, no Terry, no Josh, and yet you have the confidence and seemingly the team has the confidence. What does that say about doing something like you did tonight? Well, you, you talk about the guys that uh, we're plugging in to play. They've all played uh, a bunch of quality minutes, so it's not as if you're – Playing guys that you're not really sure whether they've been able to impact winning. These guys have done that, uh, and they've um, earned that, and they've proven that. Uh, uh, and you know, we have a bunch of competitors in our locker room, and so uh, we wanted to, you know, approach this uh, road trip uh, the right way before the break. And um, this is just one game, but. Um, you know, our guys, you know, felt a certain way about, you know, dropping that game uh, against Boston and then now coming back against uh, another, you know, team that we have uh, great respect for. And they played great last night. Uh, you know, that catches everybody's attention. Uh, and then, you know, the guys that ended up getting, you know, some bigger opportunities, they've been preparing for this. And, you know, Nico was, was very good uh, tonight. Um, obviously, you know the, the points that'll make everybody notice. But you know he he generates more inertia, you know, for our team uh, in transition for sure. Uh, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to to see that. Uh, and in his stint as a starter three weeks ago, those were really important games for us, uh, where he played well and helped the unit function at, at a high level. Um, and then he handled, uh, you know, it well when everybody got back uh, to be healthy and had to, um, you know, wait for uh, his opportunity again. But he stayed ready and, and he really produced and, and helped out uh, tonight. Um, and that same thing goes, you know, for everybody else. Uh, you know, the guys that uh, played uh, big minutes for us have been in our system for a long time. So it's not as if they're rookies or anything like that. Uh, um, and we really, you know, knew that we had to to come with a a, a disposition and a game appropriate, you know, to playing on this this floor. Good nights, obviously, from Duncan back starting tonight, and I may off the bench. What was the thinking if you might be able to share that? It wasn't as if I was Nostradamus. Uh, okay. You know, we just wanted to uh, get a little bit of uh, spacing uh, out there. You know, with this group, you don't really necessarily know. Uh, you know how it's going to go, uh, but um, you know we weren't coming in the game thinking that hey we got to try to outscore this team, but we knew we'd have to put some points on the board. Uh, and you know Tyler Duncan Bam uh, the other night gave us some really good minutes, and you know so we just uh, we went with that. Uh, but K Love and Jaime coming in, you know it keeps them in their role you know, what they've been doing, and, and they're getting comfortable with that, you know, now that they're both healthy. And we wanted to maintain as much uh, continuity and stability as we've had in a rotation with three guys being out. What is your Giannis had nearly a triple-double, but only four points after halftime and didn't get to the line once. Just what you like up? What are you able to defend from? Uh, you have to be ahead of the game, you know, every single possession. You can't relax. He's not going to let up. Uh, and we had some good multiple possession, um, you know, efforts or multiple effort possessions. Uh, and Bam obviously, you know, takes the challenge every single night against the, the best offenses, best uh, offensive players. Um, and he plays in a lot of different schemes for us. Uh, it really speaks to his versatility defensively. But it, you also have to have uh, your help side very alert and active, and they have great spacing, so you have to pull triggers, you know, from there. Uh, you know, on the other side, Bam was so essential for us. His own triple-double, uh, the playmaking, the relief baskets we got from his passing uh, was critical. And, you know, when we've been able to um, generate that kind of passing game, 30-plus assists, uh, our win-loss <laughs> You know, record for the season has been outstanding. So, uh, for the three point shooting, just two notes on that. One, how nice was it to see so many of those shots that over the last four or five games have gone in and out actually go in? And then, how did you like about the way the team went about getting them? Yeah, I, I think we always point to the, the defending and the karma. You generate the karma of the game. 
for whatever reason, the basket gets a little bit bigger. Uh, and we've proven that we can win basketball games, which we have uh, the last uh, two, three weeks, even if we're not shooting 19 of 40 from three. It's not dependent uh, on that. But if you defend and you get multiple stops and you're able to do that uh, in consecutive possessions, you don't feel the pressure offensively. You just feel more of a rhythm and a flow. And that's the karma we're talking about. But it certainly helped uh, the way Duncan came out flying around screens. Bam was, was really setting him up you know, for great two-man actions. And uh, Duncan was doing what he does best on, on the move and, and shooting a high degree of difficulty shots and making that look easier than it is. And also Nico knocking down some open shots when Giannis was coming uh, to help, which he does as well as anybody in this league. You have to keep him honest, and Nico was able to do that. And then Tyler got going. It always helps, but our defense, you know, holding that team, you know, to 51 points at, or 52 points at halftime, you know, that kind of set the tone. Yopik has been very self-aware with us, saying, I have to defend better if I'm going to play. On that side of the court, where is the most growth come, do you think? His attention to detail, uh, the discipline, understanding the schematics, the multiple efforts, uh, all of these things. He's been making progress for a couple of years. It, it's not something that happens overnight. And it's, not, it's not improvement that's been linear. Uh, there's been ups and downs and learning um, – you know, in a competitive forum, going to Sioux Falls, uh, having his stints with us where he's starting and being accountable, you know, to, to play at a high level. Uh, all of that stuff matters, and he's been very dedicated. Um, and I, I just feel I, I see a, a maturity, you know, uh, and growth from last year to this year. And, um and even handling, you know, when we get guys back and not getting discouraged and not working, he continued to work, uh, including after the Boston game. He went into the gym after the game and and got uh, more work in with the coaches. So when gu when guys start to do that, you start to see, you know, things change. All right, thank you. Thanks.